Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have a humble bundle of interest, not for game developers, but mostly on the artist side of things. But I also have to say, this is one of my most recommended programs. I picked this one up in a previous humble bundle. Little did I know I was going to be using this thing like every single day. And it's a program called Luminar. Now this one is, I think the best way you could put it, is sort of like uh, an AI-assisted Photoshop for idiots mixed with Lightroom. Also for idiots. Now it's it's got a lot of capabilities, but it makes it so easy. So an idiot like myself can use it. Now I don't know that you're going to use this a whole lot for most people, but if you do any image manipulation, texture work, anything like that, it is definitely a tool to think about adding to your toolbox. So this is the uh, photo editing to the max software bundle, and basically it's the Luminar AI bundle. I'm not going to actually talk too much about Luminar AI in this video. Video, uh, because quite literally I just picked it up today. What I'm going to instead talk about is Luminar 4, which is also in this bundle. Now, if you have no idea how this works, Humble Bundle is a collection of stuff. In this case, I guess we could say this Luminar software, and then a number of other things like looks and so on. I'll explain how those work in a second. Uh, organized into tiers. In this case, uh, the $1 tier contains a program called Photo Luminar 3, which is kind of like super light version of Luminar. Uh, then on top of that, you go to the next tier up at the uh, $28 Canadian tier. So about $23, uh, you can get uh, Luminar 4 and a couple of LUTs. And then, of course, the original uh, package, the uh, photo lemur package. Pub uh, and then you go to the $17 tier, you're getting everything, which includes Luminar AI, Aurora HDR, a number of other looks, uh, and things like uh, skies in the background, and so on and so forth, uh, that go together with this program. So you probably want to pick up the top tier bundle just because you're getting uh, Aurora HDR, which is like an image editor for working on HDR images, and then Luminar AI, which is the version... Okay, this is what gets kind of confusing. You've got Luminar 4 was supposed to be replaced with Luminar AI, but Luminar AI doesn't have all of Luminar 4's features. And there is a new version coming out in like two months time uh, that is going to, I think, completely replace Luminar AI. So what most people are in it for is probably Luminar 4 in the end. And I tell you once again, it is fully worth it. Now, as always, I buy these bundles, let you know what you're going to get. And even though I already own Luminar 4, it was such a great pickup that I'm going to grab this guy for Luminar AI as well. You get a number of keys to... to to redeem, uh, you can download the software directly here using those keys that you get. And then finally, you get a series of looks that you can download and templates and skies and that kind of stuff that you can add to your uh, package. So now let's do a bit of a hands-on demonstration. Now this here is Luminar 4. And like I said, I use this pretty much every single day. I generate my thumbnails uh, in a normal manner. Uh, I normally use Affinity Designer for doing the thumbnail images on uh, all my YouTube videos. And then I bring it into Luminar just for quick um, presentations. So quick updates just to make it look a little bit better. And so for example, here is uh, one of the thumbnails I did somewhat recently. Not a lot done to it. The vignette was added. The color was changed a little bit. But here you can see we've got a number of different looks. Now these are basically quick templates for doing uh, color change. So here you can see as we go over, you've got a number of swaps this way. And that's what those looks are. They give you this additional capability to do quick updates across the entire uh, image. So you see here, we've got a number of different styles. So that's what you're going to get. You're going to get other looks. So let's say you want to go for that 60s black and white look. You can see the end result here if you want to go for a more matte look. Um, and then you got some on various different themes. So for example, uh, dramatic themes here. Uh, we could do things like enigmatic, color crush, mystic, and so on. Or you can come on over here, and this is where the heart of the program itself is. You can come in here and do quick light changes and so on, but you can do some really neat things in this guy. So for example, I'm gonna go here to some of the pro level features, and what we're going to do, wait, no, I'm gonna go here to edit, and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of something here. So I'm going to do any race. Now this is all the rage in things. Uh, this is one of the major features of the uh, uh, Pixel 6 phone, for example, we'll do a race. It'll bring us over into paint mode. I can come on down here and let's let's try to erase that out of the scene. See how well it does. So AI assisted erase tool, get rid of that guy and done. And now it's going to take the background and get rid of that thing, blend the background as good as possible. So hopefully you can see how that is a pretty capable tool. You got things here for uh, cloning um, and so on and so forth. Also, we got some really neat effects. I wish I had a cool sky one here. Uh, let me just pause and I'll actually demonstrate something specifically. Okay, mission accomplished. I went and I grabbed this photo right here to kind of really show you what Luminar can do. So I'm going to go on back over to Luminar now and let's import that image in. So add edit single image 
It's from my downloads folder. Come on, downloads. You. All right, so let's open that guy up. Here is our image. So obviously you can come through here with your looks, do quick changes on the fly. But what I'm gonna show you is where the AI stuff comes in. So we're gonna come back here and we can do things like, uh, we can do AI enhancements to the sky, for example. So if we don't want to just enhance just the sky, so it's smart enough to know where the sky is and make changes on its own. We can also do so, such to accenting the scene itself. But let's come back here and go to AI sky replacement. So here we go. We'll select our sky. We'll pick our new sky that we want. So we have a, let's do Galaxy 2. There we go. And there you see, it blends out. It detects where the previous sky was and brings the new sky in accordingly. So you see how you can really do some really amazing things with this one in an immediate case. And again, we go, uh, we can augment the sky here as well. Uh, so we could change, we could add other things in. So we want to have a couple more clouds in there. We can add clouds in on top. We go back here to our AI sky replacement. You can change the amount of light coming off the sky. You can blend the horizon in or out as you so wish. And then we could come in here. Let's say we want to add some sun rays behind those clouds. So let's go ahead. We'll place the sun in here. So let's go here, kind of just peeking through the clouds like so. We change the amount like so. And we can say, okay, well, we don't want you to come through the clouds quite so much. We can pull the penetration down. So we can move that guy in behind the clouds again like so. Oops. Drop him behind the clouds like so drop the penetration to almost nothing. And you can see how you can do some really profound effects in a very short period of time. Now, another thing you're gonna get in this one, in addition to all these looks, is you're going to get a number of LUTs, which stands for look up tables. And they're a way of basically doing quick color changes. It's, think of this like a, a fixed palette, for example. So I could come in here, I could pick a LUT, and you can see real time results of it. So you can basically, uh, so if I wanted to emulate old Kodak film, I could do so like that. I can change the amount right here. And the other neat thing you could do is for just about any one of these effects. So for example, I want to come in here and uh, can I do it with black and white? Yeah, I can. So let's say we wanted to black and white our image. We could go ahead, um, let's see, convert to black and white. And you see there is the result. I made a black and white picture, but I can also come in here and I can say, okay, do this as a mask. And I only want to do the area that I've painted in my mask. Like so, all right, so quick paint there, and there you see the end result in. So you could do selective uh, things with the mask, same thing with details. So if I wanted to add some details to my scene, I could say, okay, sharpen the medium, the small, the large details, and you see it, it did it to all of it, but I could say, okay, wait a minute, no. Uh, so I could also say, okay, we'll preserve some of my things, but I wanna only do that to my clouds. So I pick my cloud area like so, and then here you can see the result. It's pretty minor because the clouds are being added uh, after the fact. But uh, so you can have it work in only certain areas. Again, we can have just generalized enhancements to the structure. So you see details coming in and out, then the boost amount, just drag in and out right here. And once again, all can be mask controlled. So if you only want to have it work in a certain area, uh, you can do it this way, or you can do a gradient mask or whatever. So now you're going to see when I turn this on and off, it's only affecting the area that I selected. So what this allows you to do is a ton of photo editing functionality, even if you are a complete idiot like myself. And if you want to just do some simple stuff like add a film grain on top, there you go. Like so, almost everything has a set of advanced settings you can come in. You can change the size of the film grain, for example. Roughness, one thing that I personally like and other people despise uh, is you could do a vignetting. So I can come in here, do a vignette, pick the amount of vignette I want to have. Like so, I can bring the size up or down like so. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I wanna make it rounder, feather it in a bit, and yeah, let's, let's light up the inside. There you go. So I've created a very hideous photo, uh, but you can see the results of everything I've done here. Um, you've got the ability to work with layers to a certain degree. That's one of those things that they've added in the newest version, by the way. And uh, you've also got things here for if you're working specifically uh, split toning, filtering, color enhancing, uh, dodge and burn, so on. You've got advanced contrast tools. So this is where your traditional uh, Lightroom type functionality comes in. And it just, it makes everything super, super quick and easy to work with. And again, everything is maskable for the most part. And then down here, you've got tools. These are mostly for uh, if you are working with portraits or, you know, photography of, of people uh, and you want to do or in effect, uh, it's enhancing their skin and so on and so forth. Mostly I end up staying in here and here. I sometimes come in, I do a quick look 
uh, application. You're noticing it's putting it overwriting everything. But you can do some really quick, profound results right there. Uh, I don't deal with skies very often, but I've actually had a few thumbnails where I've actually done sky replacements. And this is this is kind of where it really shows off the AI aspect of things. Uh, you could do some really profound things using Luminar. Again, Luminar AI was a replacement for Luminar Four, but it didn't quite have the full uh, feature set of this, but it is supposed to be a little bit easier to work with. And then there's a new version in the mix that's um, gonna replace it all, ultimately why this is a bundle right now. Uh, and that's, um, I don't know, on the whole, I don't think it is something to worry about too, too much, but again, Luminar Neo is ultimately the next version they've got coming. Uh, I haven't seen enough with this one yet to know if it is an upgrade or not, but they do have upgrade pricing. So if you have an existing key for Luminar or Luminar 4 or Luminar AI, you can get upgrade pricing to Luminar Neo. So if they do come out with some f features and functionality that you really want to see, this is out there. And at the same time, I don't think Luminar 4 is getting updates anymore, uh, but Luminar AI is supposed to. They, they've really ticked their community off by releasing Neo so shortly after they released Luminar AI. But if you don't have any Luminar products at all, it is a great tool to add to your toolbox. Uh, so that is what the heart of this bundle is. It's not gonna be for everyone. Um, again, I only really use, I don't use it for game development purposes. I use it for thumbnails. I'm gonna actually produce the thumbnail for this video in it when I am done. So this is a program I literally use every day, but I'll admit, honestly, it's not for everybody, but if you are looking for something like this, if you're looking for something for doing Photoshop type work, but made easy and AI powered, and something for doing, say, the equivalent of Lightroom or Darkroom, well, Luminar is a great choice there. Just be aware, if you ever go to buy their software at full retail price, uh, they may bring out a new version next year that makes it useless. But in this case, you're not buying it at full price. You're buying it for a darned good deal over on Humble. Again, this is one of those ones I picked up in a previous Humble, and it was easily worth it. And this bundle would probably be worth it for me just to pick up some more looks. Because uh, like I said, I use them in the thumbnails all the time. And if you're doing any post-processing um, kind of photo work, you, you're going to probably bring yourself to really like Luminar in a hurry. So anyways, that is uh, the bundle. The, the stars of the show here, again, are Luminar AI and uh, Luminar 4, but if you are doing some HDR photo work, Aurora HDR could be a good pickup for you as well. It's a photo editor focused on creating high quality HDRs merged from a set of images taken at different exposure levels. Um, so if you're working with HDRs, it could be a good pickup for you. Uh, not something I personally use too much. Another nice thing with this one is it also runs on Mac or Windows. Uh, so the one version you get will run on either platform, which is also pretty nice. So that there, ladies and gentlemen, is Luminar. Uh, we saw Luminar 4 in action. Uh, Luminar AI is also included in this. Just know Luminar Neo is the new greatest, latest version that's going to be coming out in like a month or two. Uh, but there is upgrade pricing. So if you like what you get, this could definitely be a good way to go forward. And from what I found, uh, Luminar 4 to Luminar AI, I didn't see any real reason for me to personally upgrade. And it was well worth the last purchase. So uh, I bought this one sight unseen. Definitely worth it for me. Highly recommended. Granted, not technically game development related, but it's definitely one of those tools to add to your toolbox. Even if you just want to do something like, re like erase something from the background. Because... Uh, it has one of the smarter erase brushes I have ever seen. Let's just do one more quick erase. Let's go ahead and get rid of... Now, you're going to see it's going to take a little bit longer because the entire stack of things I have done to this brutally mangled image are in action. But let's just go ahead and we'll get rid of that tree right there. And done. And... And... Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not the greatest job I've ever seen, but... Uh, you know what? Actually, I would have trouble if I hadn't deleted it to nowhere. Like, I didn't realize that this was over here. It did a smart job of that, to be honest. So that part alone is impressive. That's what they mean when they say AI. Now, this is, again, the star feature of the new Pixar, um, Pixar, <laughs> Pixar, <laughs> Pixel 6 phones and uh, all the editing suites out there. So it's not anything magically new to Luminar, but they do one of the best jobs of it. So sometimes I'll download an image as a base stock, but there's some things I want to take out of it. That magic erase is definitely useful. So anyways, enough of me gushing. Uh, if you're in the market for photo editing software, this one is a great value. Uh, highly recommended. That's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.